Hello everyone, today we're talking about something everyone deals with, messiness. Some people love it, some hate it, but everyone has it. So I must see people creative genius or just lazy slaps. Let's dive in. Think about an artist studio. Not everything's in a neat line, right? That's because sometimes a little mess sparks ideas. Surrounding yourself with things you love, even if they're not perfectly placed, can unleash your creative side. Remember that funky shirt you haven't worn in a while? It might inspire your next painting. Messy folks are like ninjas of navigating chaos. They know where everything is, even if it's buried under a pile of books. This makes them super adaptable in unpredictable situations. Think of it like a treasure hunt. They find what they need fast, even in the wildest jungle of stuff. And believe it or not, messiness can sometimes save time. Messy people have their own way of keeping things organized, even if it looks chaos to others. They know where everything is, like having a secret system and only they can understand it. And maybe their pet rat. But not all messy mice are happy mice. Sometimes too much mess can be a bummer. Finding things become a quest and unfinished tasks pile up like a mountain. This can make it hard to focus and get things done, leaving you feeling stressed and overwhelmed. Clutter can be like a broken record player of stress. Looking at a messy room can make you feel tense and uneasy. It's like your brain keeps saying, hey, clean that up over and over again. And let's be honest, not everyone loves mess. Sometimes being too cluttered can hurt your relationships. Friends might avoid visiting and at work it may send the wrong message. It's like wearing mismatched socks to a job interview. Not the best first impression. So who wins? Masterminds or monsters? The truth is, it's up to you. Messiness can be a tool for creativity and adaptability, but it can also be a source of stress and social awkwardness. The key is finding the balance that works for you. Maybe keep your creative chaos in one corner and create a calm zone for studying or socializing. Remember, a little mess is okay, but don't let it become a muddy monster that takes over your life.